What is going on everyone? It is Hayden here and today is Recap Wednesday. On Thursday, November 2nd, I posted a video about BitConnect and the reasons why I felt as if it was a scam. Since then, I have been bombarded with both comments and DMs thanking me for the video. I also had a few comments that had valid arguments against what I said in that video, like this one. Hey, and I've been a user on BitConnect for quite some time now, and I completely agree with you on this video. Over the past half a year, my friends and I have all jumped into BitConnect together. Since then, I have made back my initial investment with BitConnect through their daily interest payouts and received my capital back in which they promised on their white paper. All this was done with zero referrals and no compounding interest. One loan and a lot of patience. I completely agree with you about the BitConnect YouTube scam, which a ton of social media influencers would make videos on BitConnect titling their videos making $500 per day with crypto, when their daily BitConnect earnings were 80% referral commission and only 20% actual daily payouts. There was guys like that who actually used BitConnect who would comment something uh, constructive, something for us to really have a conversation about. And then there was guys who completely proved my point by posting this. I had over 50 comments that were caught in my YouTube comment spam folder, leaving their referral links for people to join their team on BitConnect. Now, if this doesn't scream pyramid scheme, then I don't know what does. Anyone who is investing in a non-pyramid scheme business, especially one that is supposed to be investing your money for you, should not have to give out referral links in order to make a higher income on their investment. I personally have never dealt with a more desperate group of people. This is ridiculous to me. I cannot believe that I had 50 odd comments with referral links in it. Like that, that's just, it blows my mind. Especially on a video that was talking about how BitConnect is a pyramid scheme and, and a bit of a scam. Phil has recruited me and another guy. Now we are getting three people each. The more people that get involved, the more people who are investing, the more money we're all gonna make. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se. It's, I have to go make a call. But I did want to be very clear with you guys. You can in fact make money on BitConnect as a person who commented earlier said that is possible. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's not. I just want to point out in that last video that probably the way that you're making your money back is not what BitConnect originally said it was, and also that you can and will make more money by referring people. And that's a substantial amount of money by having people underneath you in your referral program. So can you make money on BitConnect? Yes. Would you make a thousand times more money by referring people to BitConnect? Fuck yeah. And this is why I have an issue with BitConnect. If you are investing your money into like, let's say the bank and they said, uh, you know, you're putting in your investments, you're gonna get a you know 10% return per year on your investment. But if you wanna 10X your money, just get everybody else to do the same investment plan and we'll, you know, pay you for it. You wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. You don't have that. But yet with something like BitConnect, that's exactly what's going on. So is BitConnect an honest way of making money? You know, that depends on who you talk to and depends on really who they are. I have no real issue with people using BitConnect itself. If they just want to put their money in and leave it. What I have an issue with is influencers who are, who are projecting these large amounts of money saying I'm making X amount per day on BitConnect. But then the reality is that it's, you know, a very small percentage of their money is actually by BitConnect and the rest is the referral fees that they're getting by everybody else joining up underneath them. That is what I have the issue with. I also mentioned in my other video that I said if I were to post about BitConnect and say I'm making X amount of dollars per day and then put my referral link, the reason I wouldn't do that is because people underneath me would have way less of a chance of making the same amount of money I was saying I'm making. And then I had a lot of people who would argue me on that. They're like, no, that's not true, Hayden, because, you know, everybody has an equal chance. If they join into BitConnect through your link, they can post ads or they can ask their friends and stuff to sign up underneath them, and then they would be making just as much money. And to them, I have to say, that's the f***ing point. You should not have to do that in order to make money on something. You should not have to refer a bunch of people in order to... to, to work up the ladder in an investment. It doesn't normally work like that. It, it is, to me, just something that is getting very out of hand with 
mostly influencers and it's it bugs me so much because I feel like we're they're making a very bad name for all of us who make a career off of YouTube and talking about like entrepreneurship or finances or whatever next thing you know we've got a bunch of these people who are I don't want to say, I don't want to use the word scamming, but I want to use the word maybe taking advantage of people who are more naive. Although, yes, those people can make money. Don't get me wrong. That's why I'm not saying scam. But unless they're being completely transparent and saying, this is what I'm making off of the money that I'm actually putting into BitConnect, this is all the money I'm making off referral fees. If people were very transparent with that, that's one That's one thing. You know, that's, that's okay. But anything else, it, it really does bug me quite a bit. But because of all this, I want to do my due diligence and show people that you do not need to invest in a pyramid scheme in order to make a killing off of cryptocurrencies. So what I did is I reached out to some people who I know are very good with cryptocurrencies. That is my former editor, Edward, and also Iconic Becker, who you'll see on tomorrow's Think Thursday video. Edward especially is very into the cryptocurrency world and has been for quite some time now. So I do trust his opinion quite a bit. So what Edward decided to do is he wanted to make a YouTube series talking about how to go from $500, an initial $500 investment, to $50,000. Now I'm not sure how long the time frame is. I don't think it would be any more than a year. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to match him on that. I'm also going to put $500 into whatever it is that he thinks is going to do this. And then we're going to compare and we're going to see how my investment did over the course of the year. Of course, every week, probably on Recap Wednesday, I will be informing you of how that those earnings are going. This isn't starting next week. It will be starting the next couple weeks and I will let you know when it does. The reason for all this is when I first started investing into cryptocurrency, I was very scared and had no clue what was going on. I mean, cryptocurrency is up and down like crazy. And if you don't really know about it, it, it can be extremely scary. I mean, even the people who do know about it don't know what's going to happen with it, right? Um, you, people have their guesses, but you never really know. So I get that it's a very thing, scary thing to invest in, especially when we're just not used to it. It's not government regulated, so you could be very scared by it. What I really want to do is show people that you can do investments in this and hopefully do, give you the most honest view of how to invest in cryptocurrencies. Goddamn train. I started this YouTube channel around being honest and giving you guys honest reviews of things and I'm going to do the exact same thing when it comes to cryptocurrencies. I hope that you guys got some value out of this video and if you don't agree with what I've been saying go ahead and leave a comment down below let me know and uh, maybe I'll put your comment up on the screen next week. I want to thank you again all so much for watching. Please excuse the baby crying in the background. <laughs> you can follow me here. I'm on Facebook. That's at Hayden Pedal. Oh actually I forgot about something. Before we do all this bullcrap each one of my YouTube videos is actually just part of my blog post that I do every single day of the week. If you guys would like to check out my blog, it's at haynepedal.com. It is a much more in-depth version of all my videos. It has links and all different types of things. You can go there, check it out. I would really appreciate it. Something I'm just trying to get going now. So all your love would be highly appreciated. Like I was saying, you can follow me here. I'm on Facebook. Right here, I am on Instagram. That's at Hayden Pedal. And here, if you screenshot this guy, you can add me up on Snapchat. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.